Doctor. At long last, yes, trades are open. I bet you guys are pretty excited about this, huh? But. As usual, there are a whole lot of things I need to address, even more so now than the time before this. So, uh, if you want to trade with me, you're going to have to listen to every single thing. If you send me an offer, I will know for sure that you have not, uh, just based off of what the offer is. Uh, if, if you listen to everything and send me an offer uh, that's reasonable and follows all the rules, then we can trade. If you ignore any of these rules, then I am simply going to ignore your email. So pay close attention. First of all, something that is not quite a rule, but something I need to get out of the way. As you can see, there is no comments section for this video. That's because in the past, whenever I've made it clear, do not offer anything in the comments, that is where most of the offers go. So uh, this should help to get you guys' attention. Now you'll have to actually watch the whole video to know what's available and what I'm asking in return. Um, anyway, so I'm very sorry about that. I know there's going to be a whole lot of people who are upset that they can't comment. And if you need clarification, feel free to email me. Then I will, I will feel free to, uh, I will be more than happy to clarify any questions you have. But as far as offers, this is what's going to happen. If you see something you want, send me, um, well, first of all, in order to contact me with trade offers, my email address is skullshirtigoldtcg at gmail.com. Just copy and paste my YouTube name if it's too hard for you to spell. Completely understandable if it is. I'm sorry about that, but I really like my name. Anyway, um, so if you see something you like, first of all, I am only trading for cards on my once list. The link to my once list is in the description. If you're unable to access it for whatever reason, once again, email me and I'll just copy and paste it for you. But, otherwise, I am not trading for any Pokemon cards outside of my once list. Absolutely no exceptions. I cannot emphasize this enough. That being said, I am also trading cards for Amiibo figures. Right now, I'm only trading for Marth, Little Mac, and Pit. Uh, I seriously doubt any of you are willing to trade your figures for cards, but if you are, just know that that option is there, but otherwise, only cards on my ones list. Now, here are some very important things that I need to address. First of all, I absolutely, under no circumstances, send first. So if you arrange a trade with me, you're going to have to send your cards to me first. I'm very reputable. If you doubt that, then I can give you a list of people who I have traded with and who have been satisfied with their trades. And, yeah, um, if, if you have a problem with sending first, then simply don't trade with me. There's bound to be someone else on YouTube that you can trade with. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that one's pretty clear. Two, if you're under the age of 14, please contact your parents before contacting me. Be no, not contact your parents, but ask their permission to contact me. There have been plenty of instances in the past, even after my last trade binder where I made this crystal clear, if you need your parents' permission to do anything, like contact a stranger over email or send someone mail and get something in return, you're going to have to talk with them about it before you talk with me. If you're an adult, great. Uh, then we're cool. If you're not an adult, if you're still a kid, even if you don't know for sure, just talk with them. Uh, I, I've gotten so many angry parents who are angry at me, angry at their kids for doing this, and I, I'm not a fan of it. You're not going to be a fan of it if your parents get upset. If you really want to trade with me but your mom says no, well, then I'm with your mom. That's about as far as I'll go with that. If you do get their permission, great. Then we'll talk as much as we want. Uh, one more thing is I also do not send out my Skype or phone number to anyone for any reason unless they're like my closest friends, but definitely not for trades. So if uh, email is not enough for you, then we'll have to figure out some other way to make it work, but no personal information other than my email. Um, three, I'm only trading for cards on my once list. I've already made that clear. Uh, once a trade is finalized, no changes can be made. If we finalize a trade and then the next email you let you say, "Oh, I see something else in the video I want," that's going to be that's going to have to be a completely separate trade. You can't add it to the current trade that we've already done. Once it's finalized and I give you my address to send your cards in, that's it. Either you have to completely cancel the trade, or we're going to have to create a new trade on top of that one, and you're going to have to send that one first. That's just the way it goes. Uh, there have been, uh, you will not believe how many people have tried to alter a trade after they've sent it to me. 
um, or, or after it's been finalized. Um, and here's the last thing that is brand new. You must send out your trade within two weeks. If I have not received the trade within 14 business days of us finalizing the trade, then it will be canceled. And if I receive your cards after that, then I'm just going to send them back. That's my that's my last say on it. Um, that being because if you guys saw my last trade update, not my trade binder update, there were a whole lot of cards that had been that that had been part of trades for a month to some of them for six months. And out of all of those, after I made that video, this is two weeks later, I only received like three or four trades and I had to put the rest back in this binder that you see right here. So if you finalize a trade, send out your half within two weeks. If you're unable to send out within two weeks, then let me know and we can work out something. Um, but if, if you knowingly uh, do this without letting me know, then then I'm going to assume you either send out your thing or you're not serious at all. And that's something I really need to make clear. Only serious trades, please. I did not think that it would be that complicated. If you want to arrange a trade but you're not willing to send out your cards, that's not a serious trade. That's just a, a waste of time. And I don't appreciate that. So I think all of the rules are now clear. Just to refresh, in case you missed it, I do not send first. If you're under 14, get your parents' permission to contact me. I'm only trading for cards on my once list, which is in the description. Uh, once a trade is finalized, no changes can be made, and I have to receive or half the trade within two weeks. If you if you are okay with all that, and you see something in here you want, and you can offer something in return, then go ahead and contact me, skullshirtergoldtcg at gmail.com. Enough of the blah, blah, blah stuff. Let's open this up and see what we have. Now, I do have multiples of some of these cards. I'll try to point them out as I can, but I do have two Greninja EX. That's a Clay Doll EX. I have a few Molga EX, and I actually have several A specs in here. I have Rock Guard, I have Victory Piece, and you can't see it, but I also have a G Scope, and what was the last one? Oh, Gold Potion. So I do have those four A specs for trade. Let's see. Everything else here should be pretty obvious. Uh, everything here is near mint or better. Um, I'll let you know when we get to stuff that isn't. And I have taken out all of my world champion promos. Everything here is only uh, real cards. I mean, world champ uh, cards are real. They're just uh, not very collectible and they're absolutely not playable. I might have more than one shaman. Yeah, I have more than one Shaman. And these are all, um, even if you can't see it, they are all penny sleeved, and some of them have real sleeves on them. Just depends on the card. And uh, I did go to League this past Sunday and made some trades there. That's why there are some blank spots. I might have more than one Keldeo. Probably not, though. Yep, yeah, just one. So I keep these cards in as good condition as possible. So, yeah, uh, don't worry about that. Um, if there's something that's less than mint, I will let you know. And that is a Japanese Full Art Venusaur EX, um, which is a secret rare in X collection. I think I have more than one Skarmory. Um, yeah, I have more than one Skarmory. And about here is where the cards start getting damaged. The Latias is a, has a little bit of damage on it. The Charizard, I'm going to see if I can't get this at a good angle. Eh. It, it, it has some bends and dents in it. Same with the Ampharos. Uh, Blaziken is excellent. Uh, Llama God level X is excellent. This is a, a mint Japanese Malamar. It's just Japanese, so I put it in here. And that is a Hippowdon level X German. This Latias has a whole bunch of... Actually, I might be able to get the lighting. Yeah, you see that? That's not the uh, protective sleeve. That is the card itself, so just be aware of that. That's Japan, uh, German, German, Gliscor level X, near mint mint. Uh, and everything here is just so damaged, I don't even know why I have it in the binder, just, just so you know. Um, yeah, and then we're finishing off with this page. So there we go, and I'll just have one last look-see. If you are okay with all those rules and you see something you want, then I am open to a trade. If you see stuff you want and you don't have anything to trade, I'm always willing to sell. Uh, email me for specific prices of cards. And that pretty much does it for this video. I hope you all um, 
enjoy. Uh, I'm sorry that there's no comment section, but you know, um, only only uh, offer stuff through email. So um, that pretty much does it. I'm sorry that this was so long. It was mostly just me talking, but my rules need to be pretty clear at this point. I've gone through too much crap to really let any um, let any loose ends show up. But yeah, that does it for this video. I'm going to shut up now, let you guys email me with your offers if you want. And once again, I'm always willing to sell and trade for Amiibos. Uh, once again, Marf, Little Mac, and Pit. Uh, that does it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more.